Bueno, good morning everybody, buenos días a todas las personas que se conectan. Welcome once again to a version of the Kinetic Chain today on this beautiful Sunday. So, huesos, músculos y articulaciones trabajando en armonía permiten el movimiento de nuestro cuerpo y a esto se le llama the Kinetic Chain. Welcome to the Kinetic Chain. The Kinetic Chain Talk is a space created for the Sunset Art Foundation. The Kinetic Chain is a space for dance, choreography, and classic queer performances, created again by the Sunset Art Foundation. Today, I have a special guest, a person that is an amazing, amazing, amazing artist. He was born in Parma, Italy. He attended to the Bolshoi Academy in the class of Denis Medvedev. Um, he's an amazing person. He's probably the, one of like the bad boys of <laughs> the Polsha Academy. Uh, very talented, very, very, very talented. He is actually now part of um, the Krasnoyarsk Theater in Russia. Um, he is their medalist, um, bronze medalist winner in the Young Ballet Competition by Judy Grigorovich. He is the Ballet Master of the Bolshoi Academy. And anyways, uh, les quiero presentar a Marcello Pelizzoni. Así que aquí lo veo conectado. Hace muchísimo tiempo que no hablo con él. So, it's gonna be right on. Marcelo, voy a quitar esta música. Marcelo, hey. Hola, ¿qué tal? I'm very good, thank you. I'm kind of tired, yeah. I've been working all day, so I'm I completely know. tired. Marcelo, thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you for taking Thank you time. for inviting me. Thank you for the presentation. I was <laughs> so unexpected. It's so nice of you. No, thank you very much. I have to say that, you know, I met you at the Bosch Academy, and um, it's very inspiring to see how you've grown, you know, as a man, as an artist, as a ballet dancer. And it is amazing to see, you know, everything that you have accomplished. So congratulations. And um, yeah, so that's the reason why I wanted it to invite you to this conversation. It's just, you know, a friend's conversation and share with people our experience, you know, experiences as dancers. Thank you. Thank uh, you very much. So, who is Marcello? Is Marcello? Who is Marcello? Who is Marcello? Marcello is a... Uh, <laughs> completely crazy <laughs> person I don't know yes I think I, I, the best ad adjective is crazy because um, you need to be a little bit crazy to be an artist you need to be a little bit crazy to be a ballet dancer uh, yeah ballet dancer because um, how can I say I'm, I'm hearing myself, so it's a bit difficult. You get in the, you get the rebound of my. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I get the rebound. Is that better? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, so, um, a little bit crazy, yeah, because you need to be crazy to be uh, a dancer because it's so much work, so much work on yourself. It's uh, putting everything you you have of your strength, your physique, uh, your physique, your, uh, your emotions, you, you put all yourself in, in your job and it's 24 seven, it's uh, without stop. And uh, it just, it's a completely different life like when I talk to normal people, <laughs> I say normal people, like the people that don't dance or people that are not part of a theater, uh, they, they can't understand uh, how much effort I put every day uh, on what I do. Mm -hmm. And they, they don't understand why. It's, uh, 
it's difficult to understand for normal people, as I say. Marcello is a crazy working uh, little guy because I'm young still and I hope I'm going to uh, I'm going to get better and better and I'm just going to grow. You will. ¿Cuántos años tienes, Marcelo? Eh, en la próxima la próxima semana tengo 21. Está súper joven, 21 años y ya has hecho papeles principales en GFN, sí, sí. Juan Lake, has bailado mejor dicho, papeles que muchos de nosotros quisiéramos estar. Marcelo, ¿qué es la danza para ti? What's dance for you? It's bad to say, eh, pero la danza para mí es trabajo, mm -hmm. por primero, porque es un trabajo, mm -hmm. eh, y es la verdad. Eh, pero es una segunda vida. Mm -hmm. It's a second life for me also, because uh, when I get in inside of a class, I completely change uh, mentality. I I be become a completely different person. I'm focused. I'm uh, I'm just hardworking, and I'm like a tank. You cannot stop me. That's and good. yeah, that's that's kind of. Uh, why I like also the Russian method and the Russian uh, school because they yeah. taught me that my teachers taught me that and I I always work like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Por eso para mí eso es, Marcelo, es lo mejor. Como, where do you start dancing? So you start you know you started in Parma here and there, but I do like to ask you your experience at the Bolshoi. When do you got to the Bolshoi and what is it a day? How was your, your day as a student in the Bolshoi Academy? And how was for like a foreign, you know, coming from Italy um, to like, you know, get into this different country and culture? Mm -hmm. Well, it was uh, at first, obviously, it was a shock because I was only 14 years old. I always stayed with my, yeah, with my mom, dad, home. Uh, they were cleaning, and my mom was cleaning for me, my uh, cooking, yeah, everything was like a normal life. Uh, yeah, then at 14 years old, I was um, here and there dancing with some teachers, but I wanted to professionally do it and do it well. So I looked around a bit, and I ended up in, in Moscow eventually, and I was very lucky. Um And yeah, I started at 14. It was the first night I cried. I usually don't cry a lot, but the first night I remember it and I will remember it for the rest of my life, I cried. Um, because, yeah, I, I only when I arrived, I understood that this is going to be literally my new life. I'm going uh, to yeah. be away from home for a long, long time. And yeah, this was kind of scary, but... Obviously, the people were nice to me at the beginning, uh, and then uh, they kind of we became more friends with my uh, classmates and everything, and teachers. Obviously, they were strict and everything, but I still keep in touch with them uh, till now. It was a really difficult journey, I need to say. Like, after the first year, I thought, Uh, I seriously thought, uh, I'm, am I going to stay? Am I going to uh, continue the program? Yeah, I, I, it was very difficult for me because I didn't finish the the year with the grades that I wanted. So I was, uh, I let myself down a bit after that. But then I said, there's going to be new te teachers ne next year and it's going to be completely mm, different training. So I said, I need to continue. I need to work hard, and I mean, and it kind of worked in a bit. Graduated with the maximum grade. Uh, yes. At the school, so, so congratulations. What is a day on the life of a student at the boys' school? Like, what, what would you do in the morning up till the end? Ah, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, you know that. <laughs> well, well, yeah, but you know, I'll be sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
um well you wake up uh, I, I i i wake up in the morning uh like really early i remember i was like seven six thirty seven okay prepared for class i always have class at nine before that obviously breakfast in the Stalova and <laughs> canteen, the awful <laughs> canteen. <laughs> yes, and um, <laughs> after that, yeah, class, uh, one hour and a half of class. Uh, then uh, you will have either uh, academics, so math, uh, history of ballet, history, geography, like any subject uh, and also uh, ballet related subjects um, or acting mm -hmm. and other classes or uh, other special classes as, as they call them but usually uh, most of them are in the evening so you have character uh, character dance uh, historical dance uh, contemporary we also have like any kind and yeah. duet yeah i mean you lunch you end break. do you get a lunch break yeah yeah you you get a lunch break like 45 minutes of lunch break <laughs> 45 minutes of lunch break and then you keep going yes sometimes. okay sorry sometimes what do you think marcelo now is like the difference now that you are professional and you have made transition which is a big step and a big difference for you know from from the academy to a company. Is it like now what 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 do you do now that you are a company member? Uh, well, basically the schedule is basically the same, actually. Uh, so um, I have class at six, six a.m. six thirty a.m. I I wake up a little later, okay. to be honest. I I yeah. I wake uh, wake up a little later, but still, I have from 10 a.m. class. It's just one hour class now, <laughs> which is sometimes nice, sometimes uh, not very nice mm -hmm. because you want to get warm really well. Um, then you have rehearsal and rehearsals uh, for the new ballets, new productions, uh, gala concerts. Uh, when mm, when I get the um, Mm, the consent uh, from my director I can go to concourses and stuff so uh, I'll do that too and it's just like from 11 till 3 uh, p.m. it's rehearsals and then we have lunch break till 6 or 5 wow. p.m. till 9 Oh, wow. But usually, yeah, when you have the, the, the last hour, you stay until 10, 10.30. Wow. Yeah. And basically, I feel like I'm still a student. Uh, I'm literally, uh, well, of course, you have a teacher. So you, you, you are a student in some, some way. You are an artist. Yes, you need to put yourself into uh, the, the, the job, the, the work that you're doing with your teacher. Uh, so you can... Uh, propose your stuff, your emotions, like during a variation, a monologue, or something like that. But you still are uh, like I'm very young, so uh, uh, yeah, you feel always the the student uh, student feeling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, that's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. What's your favorite ballet or the or that you have done so far? Uh, I should. Uh, <laughs> That's a funny story because um, they said that they would come from Grigorovich, which was the director of Bolshoi, uh, the super choreographer, the super magnificent choreographer that choreographed uh, every ballet, famous ballet from Bolshoi. And he should have um, came here with his um, choreographers because he's kind of old now. Um, to do Spartak, which is my favorite ballet. Uh, I've watched it a thousand times. And even when I was, when there was Spartak in Bolshoi uh, and I was in Moscow, I I, I, I think yeah. I, I went every time. Yeah, it was too beautiful. And 
they gave me the part i i had to dance spartak yes and and uh i was super excited they told me that they, we would start in june so i started preparing in september but it didn't happen. <laughs> oh, well, good for Corona. But it will happen. I mean, you have it there, you know. Uh, it's going to be next year, maybe. Yeah. So, so yes, but. That leads me to ask you, what's up with all this um, Corona topic in Russia? How do you guys, uh, how do you deal at the beginning with it? How do you are dealing with it now? And did it affect any, any like, you know? Anything inside you, if the isolation hated you, were you taking classes online? What's going on? Are you going to get the Russian vaccine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the one that you, you look like Putin if you do it. <laughs> um, so it affected us a lot too, obviously. Um, we closed our theater and where I live, Ha happened everything like two months after or a month after uh, it happened in Moscow and St. Petersburg and the big cities. Um, yeah, it affected us because we didn't work for four months, but uh, eventually we opened, but it was really, really difficult to get back in shape. Yeah. Were you guys uh, still getting paid that time? We were still getting paid, yes, because we are a state theater, so we are lucky enough to have a paycheck still during the the quarantine and everything. So yeah, I was really lucky. Actually, I didn't sit for four months. I sat for two months, and then I started preparing for uh, the TV program that I did uh, in July uh, with... Svetlana Zakharova, Svetlana Zakharova, and um, like one of the best experiences that I ever had in my life. Well, I want to talk about that in another in the next question. So you just rush into that topic, Senor. But yeah, I, well, okay. I want to ask about that. You know, you remind me to this uh, dancer that he was also, he's also like the bad boy of ballet. Um, I always forgot his name, but anyways. So tell me about this experience. Sergey Polunin. There you go. There you go. I, I don't know for some reason, but anyway, <laughs> tell me about this experience of being on TV and this program called Wall Street Ballet, which is produced by Susanna Saharua, and tell me, you know, I mean, as you said, you're very young, but here you are dancing on TV with your partner, doing photo shoots, then going rehearsals to the theater. What is it like? Well, <laughs> it's I mean, amazing. <laughs> it's dance. amazing. What was it Other before? than amazing, I don't. It was really difficult. It was really difficult because uh, I've been laying down uh, and like basically not doing anything for two months because of the quarantine. And that was the, the actual really hard part mm -hmm. uh, because getting in shape really fast and then starting rehearsing really difficult uh, numbers. Uh, we had four classical uh, uh, numbers and two... Um, contemporary ones uh, which one was uh, made especially for the program so it was intense sorry there was new material that's it yeah 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 completely for me it was everything new material i ne i haven't danced anything of what i've danced uh, there before so it was a premiere every night you wow. can say mm, but yeah it was it was very it was a completely different world too, because you, I'm used to being a theater. So you get prepared, you got your uh, dressing room, you get prepared, you, you do your makeup or someone does it for you. Someone does my hair. And then you, you get warmed up and you, and you danced and you have people in front of you. You have an audience and everything. I didn't have any of that. So yeah, I had my dressing room with my partner uh it were, like we were like i don't know how to say we were superstars there because they come they do your hair they they uh, like this makeup artist and everything and they come and do pictures and stuff wow. uh, they take interviews and interviews every every day so uh, every 10 minutes <laughs> like sorry can i take any yeah yeah of course and it was very strange because um, i've never 
felt anything like that before. But the best part, obviously, was dancing. Was dancing. Uh, it was stressful, mm-hmm. also because you had like forty, forty uh, cameras around, and yeah, and you have judges that are like the stars of the of the dance yeah yeah mm-hmm. they're stars of the dance yeah uh, Diana Vishnova yeah. Denis Matvienko yes uh, Farukh Rozimatov yeah uh, just Svetlana Zakharova is watching and saying good words to you it's very oh <laughs> it was very heartwarming yeah and congratulations actually that makes me happy i'm happy for you congratulations <laughs> thank you very much um, and yeah. you can watch it too if you want yeah so yeah. where should we tell people to go watch you uh i'm gonna post it sometimes now because they're gonna show it on tv it's gonna be a seven weeks uh program so every week they're gonna show one uh, episode <laughs> But it's on streaming on Russia on Russia Culture uh, TV okay. in okay. Russian, so yeah. Okay, well we'll find it out and then we'll, <laughs> we'll find it out. I don't know. Group, <laughs> link with us and we'll share it. Now I'm but gonna post what, videos what's dating, and everything. What's dating a dancer like now that you're super busy? Now I know that you're a womanizer. I know you like a lot of women here and there. So things <laughs> are cool. Uh, but. Uh, now that you're super busy, now that you're like a young star in Russia and in the ballet world, what is the dating you or dating a dancer like? Is a fan? Is it a fan? Maybe you want to date a lawyer, a doctor, a teacher, or not a dancer? Or a dancer? What do you think? Um, I mean, it's pretty difficult, yeah, because our schedule, as you said, is uh, very difficult to manage uh, because... Uh, they call you at three uh, and you're out doing your stuff or maybe with your girlfriend you're doing you're living your life they call you at three they say tomorrow you need to dance uh, a ballet and you need to be ready that happened and it's uh, you need to be ready you you stop doing what you're doing and you need to go do your job that's that's kind of the rush that I like too like I like when those kind of things uh, things happen but also, uh, yeah, you don't have, you don't have much life. If you need to dance, date a dancer, I I think it's gonna be easier if you date another dancer, like dancers with dancers, or or just in the theater, because it's it's. But other than the schedule, which you can manage somehow, you can find a way. We I think that dancers are the. Mm, People who love the most to hang around and go partying, clubbing, and that kind of stuff. So we we are good at that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I think. Okay, that. New York City. You see yourself dancing in New York City, American Ballet Theater, dancing in the United States, or you are one of those dancers who prefer to stay in Russia. I don't know about America. I've I've actually never thought about it. Um, maybe I don't know where where the wind is gonna blow me. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, maybe I I'm gonna stay in Russia now. You see, I'm in a company which is a respectable company in Russia, and okay. and I'm really happy with it. But uh, yeah, you always want more, and I always want more. So. I think I'm going to try in, in a couple of years or in a few years in another company. I'm going to see, see what it's going to happen. If yeah. if the chance is uh, of me dancing in in New York, well, I'm going to be so happy because I love New York or Los Angeles. I, I, I have no idea and literally I, I'm ready for everything. Like as I left at 14 years old, um, for Italy, for Russia, I'm going to be ready in in a week or tomorrow to leave everything and go to another place. Maybe. So. Yeah, no, and that's it. That's an amazing way um, of thinking. And yeah, I mean, we as dancers connect anywhere and everywhere, you know. Um, 
I wanted to ask you another question now that we talk um the topic of you coming out so young from from Parma. When did you know you want to become a dancer and what was the reaction of your family because you know it's... no uh I I have to say that my family has has always been really supportive supportive yeah. Uh, my mom obviously pushed me because she has always been in the world of the theater. She has been working with opera for, I don't know, something like 15 years. Oh, wow. She still does sometimes. Yeah. Um, my, my cousin was dancing and <laughs> once she told me, come on and dance. I tried, uh, but for me it was a game. It was... Um, yeah yeah like a game like a hobby uh, i wasn't taking it so seriously i think i uh i understood that i want to want to be a dancer dancer uh when i was already in school uh, in in the academy actually it it was when i started loving dance i i started understanding what actually is dance and uh why i am doing it Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's it was yeah it was very cool to understand that to have that like switch mm -hmm. for me it was like a game yeah I I wanted to be a dancer but I didn't understand what was dance what um what dancing is for real mm -hmm. uh when I left I left Parma yeah yeah it's gonna be fun it's gonna be cool and everything but I Yeah, it was actually really, really serious. Mm -hmm. And uh, two years after that, I only understood. It's a know, good version. Yeah, they don't, when I was real. They don't play. Um, what was your, I wanted to ask you this question about the voice show. Character dance. What's your favorite style? Ho, ho, ho. I like a lot of styles. I like Spanish style. I like <laughs> caliente. I like it caliente, if you know what I mean. But uh, Ukrainian style is very fun too. Big jumps, a lot of big jumps, uh, tricks and, and turns and uh, it's fun. That's very fun. Um, Russian dance is really emotional. And that's why it's very fun. Yeah, yeah, they 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 go hard on the emotion. That's that's kind of a thing. Uh, they're they're really serious, uh, and that's why they're good at it. Um, I don't know. I don't like Hungarian dance. That's the only thing. <laughs> Hungarian dance is not my not my thing. Never liked it, Raimonda, that kind of stuff. I uh, don't, no. don't really like it. I like I like the videos that they used to make us doing, like, uh, Arabian, I guess? No. These big videos with, I don't know, whatever, I like that, with the back, I forgot everybody. Okay, <laughs> Marcelo, un advice, anything else that you would like to tell all the people who connected, to, like, to the time to see you, um, also, just For everyone, these videos are going to be uploaded in my platform, Marcelo, Marcelo platform, the Kinetic Chain and the Santiago Foundation. You can go replay them, watch them. Make sure you follow his journey and um, anything else that you would like to like leave us with, um, and you know, an advice for all these young male upcoming dancers that dream to be like you one day. Just, it, it's gonna sound very cheeky and and everything but keep uh, dreaming and and aiming high because if you work enough uh, and you you really put yourself into uh into what you want then i'm i'm not saying it's going to happen with a little bit of luck it's going to happen but at least you're going to be good with yourself And you know that you're gonna you you have done everything uh, to to reach that, but eventually you reach something. So I'm gonna say aim high, keep working hard, and just never give up. That's that's gonna sound like yeah, everybody says that, but that's for real. That's what people really need to hear. How do you say never give up in Russian? Uh. 
<laughs> I don't know. Maybe someone is going how, to write how it. Do you, how, do you say, how do you say turn on your leg? Viverni uh, nogu. Viverachivai nogi. Yeah. <laughs> That's the message for everybody who's seeing. If you ever become a doctor, you better work out that turn out, okay? <laughs> Never give up in Russian is a uh, ni. Uh, mm, I don't. I don't remember. So, I'm. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm completely I done. <laughs> I used to remember, but you live there. You speak the language better than I do. So come on. Anyway, so Mar Marcello, well, thank you so much. I can thank you enough. I'm a big fan and supporter of you and um, anything that you know. We're here to support each other. I hope you and your family are staying strong and safe, and that we can. Um, keep using dance as a tool to communicate and inspire people and to be happy and to heal this. Thank you very much. I want to say thank you to give me this amazing opportunity. It's very, fun. it was very fun, uh, and uh, I hope you're well. I hope to see you soon because I can't wait to see you soon. No, we it's have to. Be... You have to come and dance in Colombia. We have to bring. We have to bring in Colombia people that from the border to Colombia. A okay, or a, let's a do it. Or something. I know people. We can do that. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the Bolshoi, so, Bolshoi has never been to Colombia, so maybe this is an invitation. If any producer are watching us, bring the Bolshoi to Colombia. I mean, yeah. it has they, they're being the way many years ago. Bring yeah. Russian dance to Colombia. <laughs> yes. well, awesome. we, we need you. We need you to come and dance to in a festival, Marcelo. So yeah, you invite me. I'm gonna be more than happy to come. Cool. But uh, I'm gonna try to come to LA and visit you yes. and party yes. and have fun. Okay, Marcelo, thank you so much. <laughs> and have a good day and rest of your Sunday. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Kisses.